Hi, welcome back to Every Note Counts. Today I have a music writing challenge. I'm gonna create a two chord progression using just a one chord and a two chord, and I'm gonna try and figure out how to make a backing track with it to practice melody over. Let's get into it. So for the rules of this challenge, I have to use one guitar, I can use one or two pedals, and I have to use the one chord and the two chord. The one and the two chords can be major or minor. I could use sus twos, sus fours, add six, add nine. I can make the major seventh, minor seventh, diminished seventh, but there has to be a one chord and a two chord, and those can be the only chords in the progression. This isn't supposed to be a real complicated progression. It's just two chords for the sake of training your ear to expect the next chord and to choose the right notes to land on when it's coming up. So I ended up choosing to use this compressor pedal by Fender, the Benz. I'm using a compressor pedal because it'll make all my notes really even when I'm finger picking and it'll prevent volume spikes while I record it. So to actually play the vamp, I ended up using my Duesenberg Star Player 3. It has a P90 in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. I really liked the, the bounce pop kind of uh, sound that the in-between position created. And so I decided to use that for the finger picking. And then as of this moment right now in the recording process, I haven't done the lead part yet. So I'll either use the neck or the bridge to create the lead melody. What I'm thinking right now is I might roll the tone off a little bit to create a fatter, jazzier sound, but we'll see when I actually get to, uh, to messing around with the lead part. Okay, so we're doing this in the key of A major. So here's my A chord. And then I would go to my two chord, which is minor. It would be the B. So you'd have something like this. What I ended up going with though, was uh, I, I really liked the sound of the major seventh. Going up to a, a minor seventh. So that's what we're gonna end up doing for this, this backing track. But I'll probably finger pick it something like this. So for the melody line, we're gonna use the key of A major. Or you can do it up here. But since the chord sits right here, let's take let's take where our where our middle finger is, and then what our pointer finger was barring, and we'll use those notes as well as the steps right above them on the E and the B string. So we've got this note, we got this one. This one, this one, this one. So that's the sixth fret on the G string, five, seven on the B string, five, seven on the E string. But since these are seventh chords, let's go ahead and make sure that we play the seventh of the note. Since this is A, hit that A flat or G sharp right there. So that gives us all of these notes. We can build all sorts of little licks from this. Okay, let's play with that backing track so we can put our melody lines into a context. So for the chords for this backing track, I've got that A major seven and um, finger picked, it'll sound like this. That's in the middle position on this Duesenberg. As opposed to the P90 in the neck. Or the humbucker in the bridge. I kind of like the bounce of the middle. But then for the lead tone, I'm going to stick with the P90. But I'll back some of the tone off. Here we go. And then we'll just kind of 
piddle around with melodies as, as we hear this backing track. But the idea is just to use those few notes. All right, let's see what we can do here. Hey, going through the editing of this video and I just remembered I didn't really film anything to close it out. So thanks for watching. Uh, there is a backing track in the video description. So just look above and uh, you can go to a free backing track on SoundCloud to practice doing the same thing I'm doing with just a handful of notes over that A major seven and that B minor seven. And uh, I hope you take advantage of it. I hope it's helpful for you. It's just a simple vamp to help practice taking a small cluster of notes and making something melodic with it. So until next time, make every note count.